late season has its own on set of challenges. However, on the flip side, it's got its own perks. Some of the challenges can come in the form of below freezing temps, crunchy snow, and a lot of competition in the form of other hunters. But on the flip side, the perks can be big bucks coming out of hiding. We used, so we used on X maps and found this spot here. We are just hiking along this ridge. And uh, Nick spotted this box over there. It looks to be 26, 27 wide. Heavy mass, big body. Not super tall, one good fork, one good right front fork. So we're gonna go try to get a closer look. He's heading in the trees, so we gotta hurry. find another bigger buck. Having a solid layering system this time of year is absolutely crucial. From starting the morning at sub-zero temps to warming up during the day to 40, 50, 60 degrees, being able to take off and put on layers as needed is very beneficial. circle walk with each other. Look at that. Stiff legged. There you go, Nick. You finally did your job. What? Get him, he's turning to the right. Got him. Oh, it's a rain. What? It's off his back. Just, yeah. Get him. <coughs> Left. In the moment of pure pandemonium, we tried catching up the buck, couldn't find him, and then pure chaos started. Couldn't get the camera on him quick enough. <laughs> these guys, I was trying to get these guys out of the truck. They're freaking too cold. Freaking told them to grab my gun. They're sitting there looking at me cross-eyed. Literally, literally Nick was like, huh? <laughs> and Logan was like, he's going to translate for Nick. I was too busy eating any bars. Logan was trying to translate for Nick. <laughs> Logan couldn't make out what I was saying. 
grab the gun. And it wasn't a white tail, so I wasn't interested. He was like, grab the gun. I see at least five. We looked for the buck, we found his does, but we're unable to track where he went to. At this point, with some minor frustration, we decided to head to some of the lower country and get a fresh new landscape and a fresh new perspective to see if we could find another crop of deer. Oh look, he's chasing another one. Oh, there's two bucks. Do you got a dropper on the right side? He's got tines. He's not very tall. After watching this buck rut doze, we decided that we'd wait for him to move on to some public ground. So we did the admirable thing, hiked off off the road, and decided to swing a couple miles around. Buck should be behind this boulder. being shot right underneath me was almost too much for me to handle. The buck was literally 15 to 20 seconds away from being mine. My tag going on him, my hands being around him, and my meat in the freezer. However, you can't blame another hunter and another guy for going after what he rightfully thought was his. After all, we're both out there after the same thing. Seems like last night, it's like the rut like started going because we saw all these does last night right what do you think it was we saw all these it was weird the temperature is really good i don't know the mornings i think with the moon phase and the temperature they really can't they come it, out in the morning yes we saw bucks we haven't seen heated up almost died twice almost died twice freaking couldn't stop the truck rolling down the hill. Anyway, we're headed to town. 
find some bucks, dude. Some bucks finally what? starting to rut hard. What time? What was that? It was like 12, was like 1? 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. O'clock, middle of the day. Middle of the day. Lip curlers. Lip curlers, freaking wide bucks, bucks with forks, bucks with mass. There's like three or four bucks that were rutting hard. But they're all in private. So we had to wait them out. There's a piece of BLM that we were waiting from across. Well, there's a hot doe that just, just got lucky. She just happened to cross into the BLM. And that buck had her pinned. She would not, he would not let her come back to the other herd of does, to the rest of those. Pushed her on the BLM, so we finally make a move. Guy's pissed by his truck. We thought he was going to kill her buck. We're freaking out. We Turns out he was just taking a piss. He drives off, pull the truck over, we start hiking on the BLM. We literally get on this buck, get ready to kill this buck. I get how, far, how far at this point? We're, we're a, he's barely, he's, what, 150 yards. we're 100, 150 yards. I spot this buck, he's looking back. Doe's got Logan pinned, Logan's trying to set the camera. I'm telling Nick the bucks, because I snuck up first. Freaking Logan, the, the doe spotted you. Get down, get down. Nick, the buck's right here. I go back to grab my rifle, get ready to shoot it. And smashes this buck we're just going to kill. Literally, he's 15, 20, max 30 seconds away from being shot. I don't know what to say. Bombed? Public ground. Public ground. I mean, Hunting. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's public land. That's the way it goes. Tried to move on, tried to find a different deer. I don't know, maybe something better will happen tomorrow. Smoked him. Smoked him. Smoked him. This brush was hitting me in my bullet. Come in. I'll watch it right now. He's up. He's up. This brush was hitting me in my bullet. Hey, hey, guys. Because when you put it, when I put it Eric. right on his ass, where'd it hit? Eric, yeah. he's up. That's why I moved. had to move. He's still left. standing. He's up. Look at him. He's up again. No way. He's up up? He stood up. No. I, he stood up. He's gone. That's the other buck. That's the other buck, right? He stood up. Yeah. These animals are super tough. Well, we as hunters, we practice, we put in our time to make the most ethical shots. We're not perfect, and so we don't always make the perfect shot. Yeah, right where those does are at, he stopped, and there was just pillows of air leaving. No one can see him right now, right? Can you see him? I mean, 
that all happened pretty quick. I, uh, we were just driving to the spot, one of the spots we we're gonna go to, and we saw this beautiful Montana sunrise and just two bucks on the skyline. We're like, ooh, ooh, that one's good. He's wide, looks like he's got decent mass. And uh, so we boogied up the thing so we didn't scare him. We came in and we hiked in. We couldn't see him, couldn't see him. All of a sudden, Nick's like, big buck's over here, big buck. So we got down, they, they held still long enough. I think they were 600, 650 yards. So just for enough to wait, far enough away where we didn't spook them. Had me time to get down and get, I couldn't see over this berm here. So I had to walk in the crunchy snow another 50 yards to get closer to the berm. But anyway, there's a buck down over there. Hopefully he didn't go far because we did see him get back up, but I don't know, that's a mean bullet. Nick said he saw fur flying everywhere, so. <laughs> I hope he didn't go far. I was disappointed. I made a mistake. I celebrated early. I took my focus off the animal. I fell. I honestly didn't see this buck getting up off his feet after how he reacted when the bullet hit him. But this goes to show you, you should always stay on the animal until you know for 100% certain that the animal's down. So we just came to where I shot him and he obviously went down hard. We've got fur, we've got blood coming out both sides. I mean, he was stoned, just legs kicking and he got up and ran. I'm just shocked freaking fur all over blood spraying out both sides hopefully it's a quick tracking job I'm a little nervous I'm a little anxious but let's hope it's a short blood trail the problem is the snow's so crunchy he's gonna hear us come a mile away so there ain't no freaking stealth mode about this but I don't know if we want to hang tight here for a minute or just freaking try to find him I don't know it's hard to say Whatever you do, you feel like it's going to be the wrong thing if it doesn't work out, so... I don't know. Hopefully we make the right decision here. After reviewing the footage, I started to get a little bit nervous. For that animal to get back onto his feet and take off like he did, just goes to show you just how tough and how strong these animals will to live is. After carefully reviewing the footage, I couldn't believe that this animal got back on his feet and found it off in the manner that he did. Tracking the buck, I had a lot of anxiety, but I just couldn't imagine an animal taking a bullet like that and going too far. must have been hurting just bad enough. He was stopping and looking back. He was at 356, 3.9 MOA. And he was just getting ready to go up over his and I don't know where I hit him. He's a quarter away, I didn't care. I just know I had to get another bullet in him. Did you see him, Logan? Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. Did you see him before me or no. after I said that to him? No, just there. So I'm, I'm relieved because I didn't, this blood was getting pretty scarce. But I knew seven mag bullet with a Hornady 175 ELDX. I'm like, dude, he can't go that far. I'm just relieved. I don't even know what to say, I'm relieved. I was a little nervous that buck was getting away. How long did we let him wait? How, hour, hour and a half. half. Hour and a half and he still wasn't dead, so. Yeah. It's a good thing we got another bullet in. Let's go see what he has.
Clean ethical kills as hunters is what we strive for, but it doesn't always work out that way. The utter relief after walking up to this buck, after I thought he was gone, was absolutely gratifying. He's cool. A unique buck. That's a cool buck. My guard. That character is different. I knew he didn't have great, great forks. I knew he had some mass and a wide, you know? He's wide. Character. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, it's teeny high, but. Oh, you can see bone. <laughs> oh, look at all the hair there. Gone. Look how far he went in an hour. Not far. No. Shit, he could have been the next zip code. If he wanted to. We did the right thing. I don't know, dude. He's heavy. He's like, all his mass is like... Yeah, right where he forks. So G2s, 3s, 4s, main beans, G1s. He's got cool G1s. Dude, so we made the right decision, obviously. So Nick was hot on the trail like a bloodhound. He's falling little specks of blood. There's a little less blood than I thought there would be. And I thought, well, if Nick's, my thinking was, if Nick was on the blood, I was just gonna kind of scoot off the blood trail and just focus ahead to see if I could see deer running or, you know, whatever, him getting ready to bound off and strategy work out. Logan was behind us just taking photos and Nick was on the blood trail and I was slightly ahead of Nick just so I could see if he jumped or, you know. It just so happens he was right here, quartering directly back, looking back at us. Stop. He didn't want to go further. I mean, I didn't have a broad hide shot, but at that point I was just thinking get another bullet in him just to stop him. And got another bullet in him and that was all she wrote. I think that was 356. So I just got down, anchored, freaking, I didn't anchor very good because my freaking hat went flying when I shot. <laughs> um, but I'm stoked, man. Whenever, anytime you can get a buck like this with character, all his mass right before he forks, I mean, it's just a cool buck. Just a way cool buck. Pick that thing up, baby. Oh, right. That's super heavy. See, those white tails don't look like that. Make a giant one, see? 160 inch white tail would look like that. He might. <laughs> this is a 140 buck, but he's badass. Yeah, he's awesome. Ready anyway. Video on this or what? Yeah. Oh, dude, this has got to be 160 pounds. <laughs> Freaking two I'm hinds. Done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done recording. Two hinds. Freaking back strap. Neck meat. Freaking ribs, intestines, so we can make sausage. Freaking hoofs for a mantle. Oh, no one shoots me coming up over the ridge. They won't shoot that small, bud. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Thank you.
As cliche as it may sound, the hunt isn't always about the kill. It's about the memories made, the relationships forged, and the adventure itself. Heavy packs, sore knees, and bloody hands are just a part of it. But at the end of the day, bringing lean organic protein home to the family and to enjoy with friends is what it's all about.